I'm mad today. What happened to MSC in two to three months? I gotta deal with this? A 10 to a one? All right, something special today. I'm gonna do a rant video. I don't like to do these, but this one has to be done. We are back on the MSC Meraviglia. And let me tell you, if you like MSC, you might wanna turn this video off. If you love the Meraviglia, you might wanna turn this video off. So let's just get right into it and show you my rant about this week's cruise. Come hell high water, I'm gonna make you love me. Now, if you're not new from here, we do a lot of cruise reviews and cruise tips and tricks, excursion, and today is an exception because we don't have an excursion or a ship tour. We got something to discuss about MSC Cruise Lines. All right, first of all, this MSC Meraviglia is a beautiful ship, as you're going to see throughout this video. But there was a things that went wrong this trip that really bothered me, and that's why I'm doing this video. I want to show you the good and especially the bad this week. So, like I said, look at the foyer area in here and the stairways made out of those crystals. It's beautiful. There's so many areas. You got that rope course outside. You got some water parks and some great pools. Now, one of my subscribers summed this up perfectly. You either love MSC, Merlevelia, or any of their other cruises, or you don't. I had a perfect 10 two months ago. Today, it goes down to a two. We were on this cruise ship two months ago, and let me tell you, everything was perfect. The food was excellent. All right, there's the fish and chips. Look at that. They even got a salad bar open for breakfast today. Service was excellent. The cruise stops were excellent. We had a great time, and we decided to come back two months later and bring the entire family. And that's where it all went downhill from there. Now, we'll start with some of the food and the service in the dining room. Day one, we waited an hour for an entree. I'm not sure what was going on. We went all the way to the top. They finally did fix that. They, next day, they gave us great servers, and I can't say enough. They have been on top of their game. Now, I can't say enough about John in the dining room. I can't remember his last name, but he fixed us right up to get things back in order. The first day I had to ask for water like four times. You'd think it was gold or something. It's almost like the good crew went out and they brought the, the ringers in, the second string. That's the way I see it today. I don't know what's going on MSC. It's like you changed the entire staff in two months. Get your act together and listen up. Treat your customers like you want them to come back. You scared everybody away. Look at that fresh mozzarella. Get me one, I just want one, just one. Let me tell you, we were here two months ago and I gave you a complete tour of this ship from top to bottom. Make sure you don't miss that video, but this time, Things went wrong in the ports. We were supposed to go to their private island, but that didn't work because of weather conditions. So what they decided to do is go to Miami. Now that's not any comparison to their private island for sure. But the worst part about this is they made everybody get off the cruise ship. MSC, why didn't you just float out in the water, open your casinos up, and sell alcohol all day. These people would have loved this. Why you went to Miami is beyond me and beyond every passenger on this cruise ship. I never heard so much complaining about a cruise in my life. All right, this is cool. This is right where your dining room is. You can go behind these bottles. I understand you had to go through customs. Why, why, why Miami? Knock it off, MSC. Get us to some place we want to be. But MSC, listen to your passengers. You probably lost 4,500 people this week that are not coming back. I promise you that. 
What about Bermuda? We're sailing right past that on the way back to New York. Or what about Grand Turk? Not far away. Anywhere but Miami. Come on. Look at this madness in the Miami terminal. I tell you, we talked to so many people and everybody was saying the same thing. Why are we in Miami? Look at these crowds. You just should have seen when they opened the gate to get back on the ship. I thought a fight was gonna break out. It was madness. I'm glad it's over with. We're back on the ship. Hopefully we're gonna finish two days up here with a great time. Bring me a pen. I need a pen. Come on, agents. Sit down, sir, drop your chair. Grab this is what I mean about the beauty of this ship. Look at these guys making chocolate back here. Oh man, they're making trains of chocolate. But again, it's a beautiful ship. Look at all these things made out of chocolate. The attention to detail was spot on inside the cruise ship. How can I go from a love to hate in two months on this cruise ship? I was telling everybody about this. Get your act together, MSC. Oh, and you gotta love the foyer area on this ship. One of the pros. Where did it all go wrong? Did we deserve this other stop that nobody was expecting and not to tell anybody until the last minute? How are you supposed to book an excursion like that? I don't know. Again, I'm mad today. I don't know what else I can say at this point, but make sure you're watching my full tour of this cruise ship because it is spectacular. The shows are amazing. The entertainment is great, especially this guy is incredible. So there are positives along with the negatives. When you say out loud in the microphone, the word that you have in your mind? Confidential? No, no, you can say it. <laughs> you can say the word. The word is confidential. Okay. <laughs> And another thing, MSC, that was just a disaster was you could never find silverware up on the Lido deck for lunch. Are you kidding? I used to, I had to walk the whole way around and buy more silverware. And not only that, but the juice station was always empty for seven days. And the excuses we got is all the machines were broke. Really? At the same time, get them fixed. And the sun's starting to come up here. It's about seven o'clock. You can see there's not many people out here yet. All right, enough of the badging. I, you can do this on any cruise ship. You can complain. You got the things that are over the top and the things that can be worked on. I'm not gonna continue with my rant. If it's sailing in your town, take a chance. It's hit or miss. And don't worry, MSC, I'll still be back because that one in September was over the top. You, your vacation is made the way you want it. You can complain about different things, but what the ultimate decision is yours. Make sure you're liking and subscribing. Until the next time, have a great day. Come help.